Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video we're going to be going through the 40 gate firewall dial-up VPN configuration. Also we'll demonstrate how we push the remote VPN profile from the 40 client EMS to the 40 client endpoint so that the endpoint would be able to connect to the 40 gate dial-up VPN. Let's get started. So in this video we're going to have the topology shown on the screen a uh, remote user is going to try to connect to the uh, 40 gate using dial-up VPN the remote user has 40 client endpoint installed on it and remote 40 client EMS is going to be used to push the uh, remote VPN configuration into the 40 client uh, if you have a 40 client that is not managed by EMS you could configure the VPN setting on the 40 client EMS manually. But in this video, we're going to show the uh, VPN configuration pushed by the 40 client. So let's get started with the configuration. We're going to log into the uh, 40 gate. And we're going to start with the IPsec VPN configuration. So we'll go to VPN IPsec tunnel. We're going to create a new IPsec tunnel and we're going to use the uh, wizard, IPsec wizard. So we could have also uh, just collect, selected the IPsec wizard in here and created it. So I'll call this uh, remote VPN the. It's not going to be a side to side, it's going to be a remote access and it's going to be a client based 40 client. All right, I'll go ahead and do next. The incoming interface that is going to receive the VPN traffic, which is the one interface, is going to be the one port one. And the pre shared key, make sure the pre shared key is set up correctly on both 40 client and 40 client and the 40 gates. Now the user group, um, let's create a user, well we have a user group already created and it's matching admins uh, from the uh, active directory. So we will stick to that. John, uh, which is the user client or remote user client we're going to use to connect the 40 gate is going to be part of the admins. So I'm going to select admins. Now local interface where do i want or what traffic does this remote user need to access to let's do the dc uh, network and let's make sure this sorry the interface is going to be dc network interface but the address is going to be dc network not sure if i have a dc network set up uh, but I'm going to set up a new address for the DC network. And the local address that we used is going to be, uh, since we have the uh, enabled split tunnel this local address in here is going to be the only address in the split tunnel that the user remote user is going to be able to access to meaning that if the remote user is trying to access this dc network traffic the traffic is going to go through the vpn if the remote user is trying to access any other traffic other than the dc network is going to the traffic is going to go through his the uh, one connection the remote user uh, one or internet connection if remote user trying to access anything DC network is going to have to come through the VPN tunnel interface and to the 40 gate now the client address range let's do um, 10 10 10 1 let's do 10 I only need one user now we have these options save password save password mean it would allow the remote client or remote user to save that vpn password auto connect meaning when the endpoint is going to be first 
uh, powered on or coming up uh, the VPN is going to automatically connect the 40 client VPN or the end user VPN is going to automatically connect the VPN always keep alive is making sure that the tunnel is always up and always actively uh, the remote user endpoint is always actively trying to negotiate with the VPN uh, of the 40 gate so there's a keep alive messages between them and it's gonna try to keep the tunnel up okay now I'll go ahead and do next one thing if in case you missed enabling these settings you won't be able to enable it again from the VPN configuration let me show you so if I access the VPN so this is the one users that we specified this is the range this is the split tunnel enabled we have the DC network specified um, X auth this is the VPN um, config and we are doing X auth for user admin so we don't see auto connect in here the only way to enable that is gonna have to be from the CLI config VPN IPsec is one interface so we will gonna have to we're gonna have to come edit that VPN and enable these um, for example auto negotiate keep alive and there is a save password as well all right if in case you miss enabling them from the GUI this is where you enable them from only the CLI all right now since we created it with the wizard the wizard has by default created a IPv4 policy for us let's take a look at this IPv4 policy so this IPv4 policy it's allowing that VPN interface into the DC network now the reason it was DC network because we specified the local interface to be a DC network the source is going to be the range of the range of IPs assigned to the VPN client destination is going to be the DC network we specified earlier in the configuration and now it is going to be enabled so this policy has been created by default for us now let's take a look at the 40 client EMS configuration part and the endpoint so we have the endpoint here John machine which is part of the admins group it's already uh, synced or connected to the 40 client EMS and uh, as you can see here there is no remote access uh, available on the uh, client machine so let's go ahead and configure the uh, remote access on the 40 client EMS I also wanted to show you that this user machine is part of this domain and the name is John okay now on the 40 client EMS I'll go uh, to the so <coughs> the the endpoint is already uh, set up with a policy called remote internal access if you'd like to know how to configure that please refer to the uh, ZTNA videos on my YouTube channel but this policy is already configured and this policy is applied to the uh, John user endpoint with these following profiles and you can see that the default profile in here I disabled it just so I can show you um, how to create I disabled the remote one uh, I just want to show you how to create a new one but this policy has already been uh, set up and since the client endpoint is not part of this on fabric detection rule it's considered as um, off fabric client all fabric client rules are the one on the right on fabric are the one on the left okay uh, let's go ahead and create the remote access profile let's call it um, remote VPN I'm gonna disable SSL VPN I'm gonna keep IPsec enabled I'm gonna add a tunnel a manual and then the name is um, VPN type is IPsec VPN remote gateway is 192.168.1.60 which is the 40 gate interface IP address pre-shared key has to be the same one that 
configured on the 40 gate part and I could do before I save it I'll go to VPN settings IKE V1 aggressive the mode phase 1 I'll leave it to default phase 2 I'll leave it to default as well now we need to conf to enable the auto connect and always up and remember password as well on the 40 clients if we want it to be working properly so these settings has to be enabled on both the 40 gate and the 40 client so I'll go ahead and do show um, these feature so the features need to be also configured on the 40 gate to be enabled all right and I'll go ahead and click save and I'm going to apply this profile on the policy. Now we gotta wait until the 40 client gets synced with the 40 client EMS, which would be in. Oh, that was quick. So every 60 seconds, the 40 client and 40 client EMS get uh, do configuration syncs. Okay. Now there is a uh, remote access in here. Uh, the VPN name, uh, what did I call the VPN name? I called it corporate VPN. Uh, this test is personal. I've created, created it earlier, but the one we're going to use is VPN that we created earlier. Okay. Now we're going to be testing the uh, VPN connection between the 40 client and the 40 gate. John is going to be the uh, user and the password and we can enable these options always up auto connect and save password if we want but I'm just going to leave them not enabled I'm going to go ahead and connect now after connecting I should be able to see that the VPN or the traffic from the endpoint machine would be pointed to the VPN only if the traffic is distinct to the DC network. So let's check out the routing table in here and let's see 10 10 10 1 this is the interface IP address let's check out the network 192.168.20.0 so 192.168.20.0 is going through the IPsec VPN and also that destination okay so all the other destinations for example default route is going through the um, endpoint e internet interface or one interface or internet connection okay Let's go ahead to the 40 gate and check. So if we go to dashboard and go to network, we could check the IPsec monitor in here. So we could see that there is a remote user connected with this IP and X auth user is John. X auth user is not enabled by default, but you could enable it from the column option. All right, so I hope this video was informative for you and if you enjoyed and learned how to configure IPsec dial-up VPN. Stay tuned for future video.